Trade Secrets for Homeowners, episode 27? I don't know. But what are we doing? Well, let me tell you a little story, shall I? Well, I was sitting here by the drywall, and there's this old couple out next door walking around, and I go over and I say, hey, what's going on? And we get to talking, blah, blah, blah. Well, we're thinking of renting this lot, and we buy a brand new trailer, and we put it on this lot. And I said, well, it just so happens that I have a brand new trailer right here for sale. And guess what? I sold it! Oh, you're a I'm getting my sailboat and getting the hell out of here! So what are we doing in this episode? Interior doors. Uh, doors, 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 and doors. So the thing about interior doors is, is you want to think about which way this door is going to swing. So like here, I'm walking into the bedroom. I want my door to be swinging this way, right? So that's a right-hand swinging door. And you can see down here on the side, it says right-hand swinging door. So you got to go through and kind of make a plan, get a plan of which way the doors are going to swing and make sure that you get all the appropriate doors for the openings and sizes, 36, 24, 30. Okay, so now we're back here in the master bedroom. This is where we're going to start. Okay, let's get busy opening some doors. Wow, wow, wow. So because it's a trailer, I got to cut the doors down to size to fit. But the trade secret the point I wanted to make was is that when you lay it up and cut it, see there's my jam cut, there's my door cut. I'm leaving room for carpet. Eh? Yeah, trade secrets. Okay, so I pop the hinges apart there. Pin, you know, here. Reason to nail the back out the pins. And then I just prop the door up, ready for cut ski. Okay, I cut the door. You see that? How it's hollow? See that? So what we gotta do is, is now we gotta make this piece of wood and pack out the bottom so that it doesn't get all squishy and warpy looking. And that's easy enough to do. It's two by four, bloop de bloop the tape saw. Here we go. Okay, so I got my piece of wood here, and you know me and my glue. I glue everything! But you know, you got to. I mean, that's, you know, you just have to. It's good carpentry. I got both sides of it. I got a bead on both sides. So I'm going to sit down now. I don't know if you can probably even see anything that I'm doing, but here, good luck. And I'm going to smoosh it in there. The glue is going to squishy smush around, but that's why. We want to put it on one side, the side that's going in. So as it smushes, it's actually being spread across the entire surface of the board. Doopity do. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. <laughs> All right, hold on a second. I had to move my fingers. Okay, but anyways, <laughs> sorry about that. But there you go. Now look, I only put a nail on either end because it lose what's holding it. And this door is going to get painted, so later on, We'll putty those holes up and bring our door in. And before I go to cut the jam side, I'm just gonna kind of buff this up on the bottom. A little sand of oleo. And just kind of give it a little, just to make sure you got any pings or chings, little burps out of there, whatever you want to call it. All right, we're onto the jam now. Alrighty then, the door is the hole. Bam! That's the way it's supposed to go! What did I do first? I put in my shims, I jim jammed the door around, and again, remember the exterior door video? This is your reveal. You want your reveal to be even all the way around. Even reveal. Another thing I did that's important because you see there's no flooring. Okay, well, you can't set your jam right on the floor. You gotta leave it up a little bit to be able to get the carpet and tack strip and all that crap under there. It's leave some room for the carpet guy. So this one's in, we're moving to the next one. We've got to lay it out ready to cut. Okay, step one. I right, put some shims on the floor. Step two, I made sure I had all the crap I needed to shoot this door in the hole on the inside of the closet already. So I got my little flashlight set up so I can see what I'm doing. And I just shot it, bang, bang, four corners. So now I can go through and again, reveal, reveal, reveal. So I see I'm kind of hitting there. See that? So this means that this has got to go over this way. It's pretty simple. Uh, having a trim gun is where it's at. So here's a little door trade secret for you. See that? See how the hinge screws are sticking out? Make sure that you've got to uh, go through and tighten everything up because we got sold out to China and Vietnam. And that's why we got to vote Republicans because of crap like this. Okay, I went around and got my shims in everywhere around all four corners. That's how I like my reveal. Again, reveal, 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 reveal. And we're gonna, you know, just kind of drop out of the door here, make sure we're not rubbing. 
nice and smooth operation. And the last step now is we're gonna lock her down with some pocket screws. And you can use any screw, Phillips head's okay. This is for cabinetry, kitchen cabinetry. And you wanna countersink that head in there because the doors get painted. So we're gonna fill those with wood putty. So there you go. It's two doors down, five to go, four to go. See that? That's what you wanna use when you're putting in doors. Do not use that. Use that. You don't want it to your door, do ya? Okay, let's slap this one in real quick. I'll just show you what I'm talking about. So after you get the door cut down, in the door knob hole, there is a little black plastic plucky. And that keeps the door shut. So you're gonna to wanna to put that back in before you put the door in, because it's gonna hold your door up square. So now all I'm gonna do is go like so. I'm just gonna eyeball it up here. I'm not shooting it out just yet. I'm gonna shoot it back. And down here where you can't see me because I'm hiding from you people. And I'm gonna shoot this. Boom. And over here, we're gonna kinda line this up there. And we're gonna shoot that. Boom. This one came, sorry, I heard. This is like, a, I know that it's, if you're a liberal, you're gonna be like, well, what a racist thing to say. It's called a Mexican helper. That's what we call this. That's what it is. It's been that way forever. And that's the way it continues to be in my book. So, boom. All right, so door and hole. Now we're gonna pull out the plastic corky. This is the thing I'm talking about. It can be kind of tough. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm gonna have to try it up. So this is the thing I'm talking about. It goes through the doorknob hole and it goes into the latch hole and then it holds the door shut. But you see, I don't have it. I just got it in there, just in the hole. That's all. That's all you gotta do. So, I mean, we're generally set pretty close to where we need to be. So now we're gonna go get our shims and pack it all up. Okay, so I went around and I shim shammered it out and then I screwed it off. And now I'm going to cut my shims off. Look, you can use a knife, but I'm using that because I own it, so why not? And shazam. Boop. Smooth butter. You know, I'm going to get the latch on it anyways. But uh, that's interior doors. So, ladies and gents, that concludes episode 27 of Trade Secrets for Homeowners. Please like, subscribe, and ring the bell. I'm going to put my link to my PayPal account down in the bottom in the description. And I'll see you all next time. Wink.